10 Reasons Why Jenny Weasley Is More Important Than You Think The Harry Potter franchise has made many new characters for people of all ages to fall in love with. Harry, being the brave boy who lived, who goes up against Voldemort to fulfill his destiny. Hermione being the smart know-it-all that is a very loyal friend. And then we have Ron, the funny yet charming red-headed boy. Speaking of Ron, he has a little sister named Jenny, but she isn't classified as important by a lot of people. And so, in today's video, we're going to be going over 10 reasons why Jenny Weasley is more important than you think. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing, because if you do, you could get a shout out. But let's go ahead and get right into it. Number one. So, coming in at number one, we have probably one of the biggest reasons why Jenny is important, and it's the fact that she is the person who was possessed by Voldemort. If it wasn't for her, then this part of the story would have been totally different. Jenny was only 11 years old when she was possessed by Voldemort, and afterwards, she didn't get scared or run away or hide. She actually never really expressed her feelings about what happened to her, and she strives on as a strong, independent woman. And don't forget, she was only 11. Of course, after this whole possession thing, we find out it was actually a Horcrux that possessed her, which made things even more amazing because she actually stayed the same after all that happened to her. She didn't really get enough credit, if we're being completely honest, for getting through and surviving such a terrible year. It was me, but I swear, I didn't mean to. Number two. You may not realize this, but Jenny actually came up with the name Dumbledore's Army, which is a pretty important aspect throughout the Harry Potter series. A lot of the things wouldn't have happened without Dumbledore's Army, so it makes it pretty cool that they actually have a name that is pretty awesome, and it's all thanks to the amazing mind of Jenny Weasley. She came up with the name for one of the most important parts of the series, so that makes her pretty damn special. First, we need to find a place of practice where Umbridge won't find out. The Shrieking Shack. That's too small. Number three. You know that moment where Harry is teaching Dumbledore's army spells and how to do certain things correctly? Well, Jenny actually masters the Reducto curse straight away, and she honestly didn't get enough credit for this. Everyone else before her was casting spells of this thing, but wasn't able to break it. But she goes ahead and does it with one spell and poof, it's gone. Overall, Jenny was a pretty quick learner and she was fantastic at spell casting. Number four. One thing that I find so cool about Jenny is the fact that during the summer she would steal her brother's broom and practice playing Quidditch all night. And the best part is nobody ever found out what she was doing. The whole reason why she was stealing her brother's broom is because she was told that she couldn't play Quidditch because it wasn't a woman's sport and she could get hurt easily. But she decided to practice all the time and it proved to be a good thing because she eventually became a professional Quidditch player like the badass that she is. Shut it! Thanks. Number five. When the golden trio, Harry, Hermione, and Ron leave, Jenny, Neville, and Luna take over Dumbledore's army in order to keep teaching the other students, etc. Not to mention, they also took beatings, detentions, and even the Crucius curse for the safety of the younger students. So yeah, this point isn't just about Jenny herself, it's about her friends Neville and Luna as well. These guys are fantastic. They didn't have to take over running Dumbledore's army, but they did, and I'm so happy about that because they did great. Without these three, the whole aspect of this group probably would have crumbled and turned into nothing by the time the Golden Trio got back. He's lovely. I've been known to sing on Boxing Day, you know. Number six. There's a moment where Harry gets suspended because he does some stuff that he shouldn't be doing, and during this time, Ginny takes the position as Seeker for the Quidditch team. Not only was she fully prepared to take on the role, but she also won the House Cup alongside Ron, which is absolutely amazing because, you know, that's her brother, and I bet they felt pretty cool about that. A lot of people don't even seem to realize that Ginny was even on the team, or how amazing she was. <laughs> Number seven, Jenny was always obsessed with Harry from the very first moment that she saw him, and even beforehand, she was completely love-struck by him, to be honest. As a child, when she first met him, she was pretty shy and was really awkward around him. But after a while, she began to realize how much she actually cared about him. But Harry doesn't understand, so she decides to not sit around and wait for the boy that she loves, and instead, she moves on and lets him realize what he was missing. This is so important. I can't stress it enough. She loved Harry to pieces, but he wasn't that interested in her, so she refused to sit around waiting for him and instead dated other boys, even though she really didn't want to. That's a pretty hard thing to do, when you're in love with somebody and they don't realize and it can take a toll on you. 
But Ginny didn't really let anyone else see what was getting to her, and that is so badass. Open up, you. Don't you trust me? Number eight. It's no surprise that Ginny is very good at taking care of herself. She grew up with six brothers and was the only girl sibling in her family, but she didn't let anybody baby her because she wanted to do everything herself. She has extremely thick skin and she's very independent. She's also very self-aware, which makes her so inspiring. Every young girl out there should look up to Jenny because she shows you that just because you're the youngest in the family, it doesn't mean that you have to let everybody boss you around. You can learn to know your self-worth and be self-dependent. To be honest, she's a pretty great role model. Seems silly, doesn't it, a wedding? Given everything that's going on. Maybe that's the best reason to have it. Number nine. Even though Jenny is extremely talented and very, very clever, she actually isn't a goody two-shoes like you would think. No, that definitely isn't the case. This girl is not afraid to break the rules. At all. She's a person that can make you laugh because she didn't care what others think, and she's not afraid to do anything wrong. So she just goes for it, and if something happens, it happens. I understand this mentality can sometimes get you in trouble, but as I said previously, Jenny knows her self-worth, and she doesn't let people boss her around. One of my favorite quotes from her is, anything is possible if you've got the nerve. And yeah, I agree. Well said, Jenny. Well said. No! No! Silence! Stupid girl. Number 10. As well as everything else we've mentioned today, Jenny is, most of all, one of the most loyal and loving characters from the whole series. I understand that she's part of Ravenclaw, and that's what these people are all about, but she goes above and beyond to make sure that people are okay, and she's filled with deep love and loyalty. She stuck up for people that she cared about and loved, even if no one else would. If anybody ever bullied Jenny, they would know about it because she was loved by basically everybody she met, because of how amazing she truly was as a person. Well, there we have it. 10 reasons why Jenny Weasley is more important than you thought. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing with the notifications on so you never miss an upload. But we will see you next time.